Yo, if you've been waiting to cop some really limited kicks, this is the week you've been waiting for. Let's start the show. Yo, welcome to The Heat Check. I am your host, Jacques Slade. And as we always do, this is the only place to come for the release dates of some of your favorite sneakers. This week is an interesting one as some shoes are only going to be available in store while others will actually be available online. Let's break that down. Let's start with the drops from Wednesday. Jordan Brand has the Air Jordan 1 and it continues to show that shoe love and it appears it will be shining even more this month with the special release created to celebrate the NBA All-Star Game. Decked out in black and gold, the model finishes things off with a white midsole and a translucent outsole. The leather on these actually looks really fantastic. Those will cost you $160 and they are available now over at Finish Line. If you are cool on the Jays but still want that old school vibe, Nike has a trio of Air Force Ones you can pick up. Vintage Wine is the color the three sneakers are based in and the vibe carries from the mid to the regular Special Forces version to the Ultra Force version. Nike Sportswear has been putting a lot of energy behind the Special Forces version and the Ultra Force version of the Air Force One and if we're going to be honest, the colorways they've been putting out are on point. Prices for this trio range from $110 to $180 and you can grab those from Finish Line as well from the women's section. Jumping over to Adidas, they have the Tubular Doom Sock Prime Knit version dropping in two colorways. For some reason, these haven't been getting a lot of love and they've flown under the radar, but getting a good look at them now, they actually look pretty clean. The black and maroon pair is definitely dope, and if you know how to put the right outfit together, this green and sesame color is pretty fly as well. You can grab those over at Finish Line, though they will only be at select stores for $120, which is actually a really good price considering they have Prime Knit on those uppers. For Friday's release, Nike is bringing back two sneakers, one that just released last year and won a blast from Nike basketball's past. First up is the Hyper Adapt 1.0 in the Habanero colorway. These will only be available via the draw, so they are going to be pretty limited if you have that $720 to spend on the colorway. And speaking of the colorway, this is probably one of the best ones I have seen so far of this shoe. On the more affordable side of the Nike drops is the Nike Shocks Gravity. This is the launch colorway and that vast gray is an updated version of the Nike Shocks from the past. For those that are wondering, I don't believe these actually have springs, but uh, they have cushion under the heel that snap back when you walk on them. For those that are in the know, you remember that the Nike Shocks platform actually debuted back in 2000. Pretty cool to see Nike bringing that style back. Those will cost you 140. Now, if you have the style to make these work, the Nike Special Forces Air Force One High is a pretty dope style. I don't think I could personally make it work, but this camo mixed with earth tones is a really dope look for the sneaker. Those will cost you $200. All right, this Saturday is actually going to be pretty chill when it comes to sneaker releases with only one pair really dropping from Jordan brand. It is the Air Jordan 1 in the fly knit in that gray and black colorway that is also known as Shadow. I personally am a big fan of the fly knit version of the Air Jordan 1. I feel like Jordan brand did a good job of recreating the shoe and the fly knit does the shoe some justice. Those will cost you 180. Adidas, on the other hand, is taking this Saturday as an opportunity to celebrate Chinese New Year. Adidas Originals is dropping four silhouettes that are mostly decked out in white with scarlet accents. The model includes the EQT support, the NMD R2, the Superstar 80s, and the Campus. Each shoe in the pack has four Chinese blessing symbols, which can be seen on the shoe and on the bamboo hang tag. Look for all four pairs to release at select Adidas Originals retailers. Unlike most weeks, this week has a few releases actually scheduled for Monday. One of the more high profile releases is the Jordan Why Not 0.1, aka Russell Westbrook's first signature shoe. These are definitely going to be limited. It is the mirror colorway, but they will only cost you $125, which is not bad for a signature shoe. Also dropping on Monday is the Black History Month collection from Nike Basketball. This collection includes the LeBron 15, the Kyrie 4, and the Nike KD 10. Each pair has its own updated style with its cultural highlights, and those will be available at finish line, although you'll only be able to get them in store. And last but not least, we have a special Air Jordan 1 Retro High dropping on Monday as well. This one will be in stores again, and it's a black and metallic gold pair, though I think it's similar to the pair that dropped at ComplexCon, but I haven't been able to see any official images of the shoe. Expect those to cost you $145 when they release on Monday, again, only in finish line stores. All right, that's going to do it for the show today. Make sure you check down below in the description for all of the shoes that I talked about today, for links to the shoes that I talked about today. Um, as always, I am Jacques Slade. This is the Heat Check presented by Finish Sign. And uh, you know what, guys? I appreciate you. I'll see you soon. Peace.